Gabriel. And you have to understand that we're Jews, and I'm a Jew, that we know the scripture, what the word of God talks about the Messiah coming, coming to a virgin, that he would, uh, so many things would have to happen for him to be the Messiah. We also knew that we needed to reverence the Lord. We also knew that to see God was to die. And here the angel of the Lord Gabriel was standing in front of me. He had just been in the throne room of heaven with God, and here he was before me. So when he started to tell me that I had found favor with the Lord and that I was going to have the Son of God, you have to understand that for me to say that I was shocked and terrified is an understatement. But when he told me that I was going to have the Son of God, I had to talk to him. I had to ask him, how could it be? I had never known a man. But he continued talking to me, telling me about the Messiah. And then he also told me about my cousin Elizabeth, that she was six months pregnant. Now, we know that at a certain age, women can't have any more children. And she had been barren, and she was older up in her years. And here she was, six months pregnant. So that excited me. And I remember the angel of the Lord continued speaking to me. And then as he said the last words, all I could tell him was, whatever he said, to let it be done to me. And then he was gone. And you have to understand, because I am a Jew, I know the Lord. I know the word of God. But, and I know that every word that he said, that the angel said, was true. But when he left, for a split second, in the back of my mind, all I could think about was, how am I going to tell my mother? How am I going to tell my friends? Joseph, I'm betrothed. What if he doesn't believe me? But we all know that God has everything under control, has a good, a good plan for us. He sent an angel to Joseph in a dream and told Joseph to take me as his wife. And I remember.